Hi, it's here. This is Gemma Just to Love is 28 with a tropical update. And I haven't done one in a while. I don't know why, but I try to do it now. But since now it's getting active in the season, now we just had our first hurricane, which is Humberto, which is like here, which is like nothing. Advisory 23. Winds are at 40 miles per hour and a pressure 1003. So stay saying it will be declassified and possibly restricted to a hurricane. Or a subtrop. Um, here's Ingrid, which also could become the second hurricane. And we'll look at that in a minute. And Manuel, which is right here, which is 45 miles per hour, rise rate 4A, which is going to go into this direction here, up north, into Mexico, and then Ingrid, we'll, we'll show you in a minute. So. Here, let's take a look at the first storm with H. Humberto all the way out in the Atlantic became the first hurricane and so far it's the strongest storm. You can see that's the clouds they're expecting to become a... This is the center of Humberto. Right there. There's nothing around it at all. This is all what's associated with it. some light clouds. Nothing strong. This is um, subtropical where it would be declassified and then possibly and will possibly they're predicting restrengthen into a tropical storm and then into a hurricane here we can change it to how it looked after when it became a hurricane i think it was around here we'll load the data so you can show you how oh this is when it was not so let's go up a few Advisory September 11th was around here. So but advisory 13, load the data. And this is how it was when it was a hurricane, but I can't put clouds because I it will show you a picture. I'll show you a picture on it. But that's where, here's the maximum wind speed. It's expected to get weakened to a depression and be classified. And then restrict into a tropical storm and possibly into a hurricane by 2 a.m. Thursday. And let's go also take a look at our other systems in the Western Atlantic and Eastern Pacific in the Gulf of Mexico. And so let's take a look at tropical storm Ingrid, which is right here. A lot of showers. There's some showers will be going into Mexico, into Texas. But the center will make landfall. When advisory 8A, winds are at 65 miles per hour, is moving north northeast, which is weird because they're predicting to go this way. There's something, there's some winds that's pushing it that way. And not a pressure of 989, so it's really low. Possibly could this possibly be the stronger storm out of Humberto in terms of pressure? We don't know. Because this is already a 65 mile and Humberto was 982. But here, let's take a look at hum, uh, Ingrid, which will possibly, I think, become the next hurricane. Because here we had the model on the National Hurricane Center. We had the center circulations right here, a nice organized system, and there's some outflow. And there's some outflow also going into Manuel out in the Pacific right here. And then this is where they're expecting to go to. It would be a storm around maybe 70. And then strengthen to a 75, 80 mile power hurricane before it makes landfall and weaken to a depression. This would be the fourth storm to make landfall in that area. As they are 65 in the next 12 hours, 70 in the next 24, 75 in the 36, and 80 in the next 40 hours by 1 a.m. Monday. Protected. Here's tropical storm it's wind probability. This is Ingrid, so Ingrid is probably the more stronger of the two they're projecting right here. And this is Manuel, which is probably not gonna get as strong because it's closer to the coast, I think. And this is the hurricane, which they expecting right here. This is all that soon could become a hurricane. If it does, then the season's starting to pick up because. Usually when there's one hurricane, then the other ones, they just form like crazy a lot of times I see. Like in 2011, Irene formed. It was the first hurricane of the season. It became a major hurricane, but the first hurricane. And then 
a lot of stores became Hurricanes. Katia, Ophelia, Maria, Nate, all these stores became Hurricanes just after one storm. So possibly that's what is happening with this season, possibly. But almost became the latest for Hurricane Humberto. So let's go take a look at the Eastern Pacific, where we have Manuel, which they're way ahead in names than our in the Atlantic. So it's at the 5 a.m. Pacific time. At the advisory 4A is winds at 45 miles per hour and the pressure at 996, and it's heading north at five, six miles per hour. And you can see. Faded out is Ingrid right there. And Manuel, not expected to become another hurricane in the Pacific. We had already a category one hurricane there, two, a um, few hurricanes there. But here it is. We have tropical storm warnings already posted, as well as on the other side of Mexico. So in Mexico, they're having a lot of rain because of these two systems, one on each side of the country. And it will, the next, tomorrow it will be here. And it will also, by Sunday, it will be inland. It's a depression. And here's the maximum winds probabilities of Manuel. We have 50, 60, probably reaching peak intensity of 65 just before landfall. And weakening to a 35 mile per hour storm. And let's look at the interactive map. Here, Manuel. Right there, the center. It's not as organized as Ingrid right here. You can see there's the center right there, kind of on the edge where this cloud is and looping there. So they're already getting some showers on the coast. There's already warnings here. And so, manual, it also is a problem. So let's take a look at how the visual right here. This is a picture of the land. Of the Western Atlantic, I want to show you. There it is. That's Ingrid. So you can see thunderstorms are flaring up in Ingrid Center, which is right here, which is past chunk and organization in her the past strengthening into a hurricane. So let's we're gonna here see. Let's see how far we are in the two thousand. This is my brother's. It's, what's it called? Jim, um, Isaiah Amadovar, that's his channel. So, you, can, if you like to, if you're into that stuff, you can check him out if you like. But, let's look at the 2013 Atlantic Hurricane season, and we'll also look at the Pacific, how far they are ahead in the season. Here we have the map. It's not updated on this Wikipedia, but let's take a look. You have Humberto, the strongest storm at 982 pressure. And here's all the storms we had. We had Andrea, Barry, Trop, Chantal, Jordan, Aaron, Fernand, Gabrielle, 8, Humberto, which is still active, and Ingrid. So we are getting a lot of storms just in the month of September. So you can see what I'm talking about by this map. Here's June. We had two storms. It looks... For some reason on the phone, it's looking white. See, look, it's say all these are white, but they're all TS. You can see there's something wrong with the color for some reason. You can see TS, Barry, um, Andrea Barry, Chantal, and Dorian in July, these two in June. I'm sorry, I don't know why it's white. For some reason, I probably have to fix that. But maybe it's the glitch on the website. Because they say TS, but I don't know. We'll fix I'll see. But 2 in June, 2 in July, which were all short-lived, 2 to 3 day storms in Dorian, one, one more day in August. And then 2 storms, which was Fernand and Aaron in August and then now in here in September, Gabrielle near Puerto Rico and this in near Bermuda where it reformed a Humberto and Ingrid. So that's actually her some of the blues coming out as like a white. So we'll 
Here's a picture of all these storms in the Atlantic. We have Tropical Storm Andrea, which was the strongest storm until Umberto became a hurricane. Then you have Barry, Chantal, and look at the dates. They're all quick and lit. Um, besides Dorian. Dorian, probably the strong, smallest of the storms. Eric, Fernand, Gabriella, which just dissipated yesterday. Eight, and this is Tropical Storm Humberto right now, what was Hurricane Humberto, which was the most, they were predicting another invest like a month ago, they were predicting to become Hurricane, but it never did. That one was the most robust circulation Humberto to come off. And there's Ingrid. So, this is to show you how many storms. It's probably all the ground super soaked compared, seems like, because we had Barry in June that hit that area. A month passed by until August. We had Fernand that hit that area. And then we had insects early last week. We had eight, Tropical Oppression eight that hit that area. Oh, not working. So, we'll just scroll down like that. And Ingrid that hit the same exact area again. So, that's four systems to hit the same area. And you can see, this is Tropical Oppression. This is Hurricane Humberto. This could also be Hurricane Ingrid. These two probably, ho might likely, hopefully not. Ingrid does not become a hurricane. Humberto is was the first hurricane, but look, it stayed it affected Cape Verde Island, Cape Verde a little bit, just when it formed, but that was not when it was a hurricane. So, Ingrid, please. So hopefully, it does not become a hurricane. Does not affect this area of Mexico once again in the Gay Campeche, and then there's eight there's a depression, and the rest of these are tropical storms. So let's take a look at the Eastern Pacific and to see how ahead they are. So far we had nine systems from June 5th since June 5th, which was Andrea's formation to start with. And let's take a look at in the Eastern Pacific where they had their first storm on the first day of the season, which is May 15th, 2013. And the strongest storm is Henriette, which was in August. And there, here's all the storms and there also been some that were in the Central Pacific, so they have extra names. So there's been 16 depressions, 15 named storms, and 6 hurricanes. And here's now the colors come out clearly. So it's probably just that one page. But you can see this is Alvin and Barba. Barba, these are all the storms you can see. Mainly in the Eastern Pacific, so Eastern Pacific's most active most so far is August. They had because we have a lot of storms there. So let's we had one we had Bar Barba, Cosme, um, Delilah, Eric, Gil, and Henriette as the last hurricane so far in the season. So it's a lot of hurricanes, and so no major hurricanes yet. Fortunately, that's a good thing, but a lot of systems, but let's take a look at all these. We had, real quick, we have Alvin, which is stayed out to sea. Barbo made landfall, we're probably just south where Manuel is. Cosme, which you, I did make a video on that, which just stayed out to sea kind of, but it was so large, so it got showers in there. Delilah. Closer to the shore, but super tiny. Flaw Eric, we stayed right along the coast and caused some rain. And there's the circulation you see where Eric at peak intensities of circulation of Delilah as a depression. Flossy, the first a uh, the first storm to hit the state directly in 20 years is tropical storm Flossy. Hurricane Gill. Which stayed out the sea as well, and Henriette, which kind of took the same path. We have Tropical Storm Peaky, which also crossed the international dateline, became a typhoon. P 
king wheat. I don't know how to say it right. So if I'm not saying it wrong, please tell me in the comments. We had tropical storm Yugua. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Which exit and entered the basin and died in one day. So it didn't last that long. And depression one three C, which just exit and entered the basin in that day. Evo is right there, which caused some a lot of flooding into areas where you need a lot of rain in areas like in California because the certain remnant circulation and the rain got pulled up north. And we had Juliet in the same exact area and Kiko in the same area and Lorna in the same area and Manuel is just south of that. So that's all the storms. So next storm that would form would be probably think what well, the maybe later in the month or possibly I don't think right now there's nothing they're watching would be Na Narda. So this were the two thousand seven names. So thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe. Until next time. Bye.